Today is the big day. Today is the day I get my first <clears throat> stem cell infusion. When VLA leaves with the cells, we have about 30 minutes to put them in you because you want them to be alive. She checks how many are alive when she leaves, so we want more than 75% of the viability. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what it's going to be, so we're going to be doing it together. So when I ask her in front of you, she's going to say whatever it is. Sure. If it's less than 75%, we're not even doing the procedure. But normally I would hope it's over 90%. And if it's 95% viable, then I have 30 minutes to do this whole thing in. So basically what we want to do is be prepared for it. The way we're going to be prepared for it. Now I, am, I have no second thoughts about it at all. I mean, nothing. everything so far has really checked out well, including yourself. Mm -hmm. All the safety tests are negative for cancer, for everything else. I'm happy. Another issue is the needle stays in you for a while because I, when I get the fluid from you, I then use it to mix it with the cells, the cells that Dr. Harris is going to bring in, your stem cells. And then I'm going to resuspend your stem cells because they'll come like a clump and they have to be broken up individually, otherwise they're going to go and seal a space and then lie down. Now you're a tall guy and there's disadvantages to being tall. I know. Okay, so let me tell you. Well, if you've traveled economy class, I have a better time than you do. All right? <laughs> Short. And now you'll know the second one, which is if you do a spinal tap, you're more likely to get a headache than I am. So when Richard gets home tonight, he should stay off his feet as much as possible? Yes. He should be lying down as yes. much as possible. Did you hear that, Richard? Horizontal, yes. Are you promising that? Yes. I didn't hear myself promise. Huh? Richard, I don't Richard, think it's a joke here. If you get a headache, then don't call me. That's the deal. Okay. Okay. That don't is think a we have a deal. That is a spinal headache, which you're going to. That's worse than anything you've had. Almost as bad as this leprosy you have right now. Okay. <laughs> and yet you don't hold out hope when we talk about hope. Well, it's a it's a very it's a very difficult concept. You know, it's hard to define sometimes, and it's hard to know, I find it hard to know what I think or how I feel. You know, expectations are dangerous, disappointment is something I would like to avoid. There's no certain end to what we're trying to do here, and I'd much rather just take things as they come. You have to start somewhere. That's exactly right. I'll tell you, it's a step. I wish I could have taken 10 and 20 and 30 years ago. Well, at least you have the opportunity now. That's right. How many vials are you preparing? I'm just preparing three. Three? Yeah, it looks like I'm preparing one, but I'm not. I just want to get it dilute enough. So. It looks like it's going to flow easily. Oh, this is all about his internal flow once I inject it into him. Not so much. And in theory, where are these cells going? Hopefully all over his spinal cord and into his spinal cord and, and traverse and his brain. With Richard, I suspect it's all in his, most of the repair needs to be in the spinal cord. That's where his brunt of his disease It's in the brain stem, isn't it? Well, yours would be in the neck and thoracic spine, I think. It's probably in your neck, most neck and between the neck and the brain, that area. This is the brain stem, but a little bit lower than that. But the theory is that these cells will um, get rid of the lesions? Will repair some lesions and will also induce his own cells to, to repair, to mm. make up that repair. Is there any evidence to date that this actually helps? No. But you asked, uh, you should ask a follow-up question. Yes. Which is, should be, sorry, I'm not... No, sure. please. Uh, it should be, uh, how many people have actually done this before? And the question and the answer is no, nobody. So nobody's actually done MSC and P's, the cells we're giving Richard, into his spinal fluid anywhere in the world. This is the first time in the world this has been done. So Richard, you are, depending on how you look at it, a pioneer? Oh, or a guinea pig? <laughs> <laughs> Idiot, that, that we already figured out.
All right, Richard. So now I want you just to remain steady a little bit, and we're going to get started again. First, we'll check to see if it's still where, where we want to be, and you can see the fluid coming out. And so we're in the right place. Now, Richard, I'm injecting the stem cells back into you. And again, you should not have any pain. Perfect. So I've injected about three million. Injected about six billion now. So doing okay? Sure. No pain, Richard, right? No. All right, one lost, and then we're going to flush you now. I think we're all done. That's great. Okay, we've got to flush your cells in, and then you're done. You did great, Richard. You're a very good patient. So, how many cells, Dr. Sadiq, did you end up? 9.5 million. Yeah. Don't worry, Meredith. I'm not. a lot, but <laughs> it's a good dose to give. All right, we're going to pull the needle out. You did wonderful, Richard. Then you can rest. This was the best, worst thing. Okay. Right. The needle is out. You can sit up. You rocks. did unbelievable. Great. Good job. Like this. No, hold on. And then um, I'll grab the band on and take the. All right, you did great. My thumb's still there, but there's no needle. Okay, I'm going to pull out. I'm just giving it to Dr. Harris to play around with. She's going to do assay tests. And then after the stem cells, before we do the next one, if you're still alive by then, we'll, we'll check this. Okay, that's a joke, all right? It's a bad joke, but it's right after, but it's good. Thank you, Dr. Okay, Harris. Great. Thank, well, thank you. Very good. Right. You did great. Yeah, 9.5 million, 90% is really good. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Okay. Thank you. Good, right? Fine. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, Richard, you know, actually, I might say so myself. I mean, this was flawless from my side. I mean, that's always good to know. First time you got in, good count. You were great. You didn't budge. Uh, it, it didn't really. It went very well. Good. As well as it could, everything went in. The cells went into suspension. And now we'll see. So, the ego finally landed. It had been a long journey and wait but i think it was worth it you know i've taken a step i had never thought about taking i have a glimmer of hope that i had never entertained before and now it's just a question of waiting it's going to take six months nine months to see any results if there are any results, we're going to do a few more infusions. There's a lot more to come here. I still do not know what to expect, when it might show up, but it's pretty exciting and I'm glad I'm doing it.